Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to synchronize audio files that you've kept on your computer from your Mac to a mobile device like an iPad or an iPhone. So if you follow my previous video, I've showed you how to take files from an external CD drive and then put them onto the music application of your computer. So if you haven't followed that link already, please check the description. We'll be assuming that you have the music application open and you have some files on there that you want to transfer over. So if you don't have music open already, click on the top right hand corner of the screen, type in the word music, and then the first entry should be the main default free music application from Apple itself that's built into the computer. And I'm gonna to go to the left column here and go to albums. I've got this Spanish CD that I want to transfer from my computer to my mobile iPad here. So this is my iPad Pro 2017. This is my M1 MacBook Air 2020. So the main notable feature about these Macs is that we need to use a USB port on this end to connect it to the mobile device here. So I have my USB-C to lightning cable here. This is the one that came in the box with my iPhone. So um, if you have an iPad Pro that is a later that requires a USB-C end, then you'll need a USB-C to USB-C port to connect these two devices together. So I'm gonna use my lightning cable here. This is at the time of recording the most common way to connect them up, but I'm gonna put the USB-C port into my laptop here. Then I'm gonna connect the other end of the lightning end into my iPad Pro 2017. Once that's successfully connected, I can tell it's working because this iPad is charging from the battery of this MacBook Air 2020. And when I have the music application open, I can see that in the left devices column here, I have the Andrews iPad connected up here. So what I wanna do now is to basically go into the synchronization settings here. So I'm gonna click sync settings. I wanna go into the settings page of the iPad. So once that's loaded, I can see here that we have various tabs and settings. The one we want to use is music here. So what I'm gonna to choose to do is to synchronize the music. So I know that these are audio learning files that I've ripped, but as far as the computer is concerned, it's called music. So I'm gonna click here, sync music onto Andrew's iPad. And what I can do is sync the entire library, or I can also sync selected artists or albums, etc. So. So the album I want is actually here, the Spanish CD one. I can choose to do this selectively like this as an individual album, or I can do the entire library. It's really up to you. All we need to do now is to click apply and it's going to apply the settings. So it's saying here that this iPad was synced with a different computer. When we have mobile devices like this, it can only be synchronized fully with one computer at a time. I'm going to replace the sync settings. It's, it's an empty sync anyway. I'll click sync and replace here now. That's basically gonna replace any uh, music files that are already on this iPad, but I'm okay with that because I just want this computer to transfer the data onto this iPad. So you can see here the progress bar is on the bottom and it's copying 30 different audio tracks. So once that process has completed, that progress bar is finished, what I can now do on my iPad is go to the music application and then go to the library section and album. So I've copied over my Spanish CD and I can play this now. So if I just tap this, Berlitz Spanish in 30 days. So now the files have transferred from this computer to the iPad through the music application. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.